Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to protect your HTML form from spam messages without using any heavy backend or capture methods. So let's get started. So here you can see we have a very basic form and first I want to show you how the form is actually is submitted and how the data is sent to the endpoint. So in our case we have this endpoint. I'm using the webhook tool to see, to show you the data that will be submitted from this form. So let's try this out. Let's fill the form and submit it. As you can see, we've got OK message. In this tool, we can see that the request was sent and we see all the data that was filled in our form the name, the email, and the message that we fill inside the form. Why I'm showing you this is because the spam bots are working in the, in the way that they read the, our website and they look for the forms and they take the uh, method, they take the endpoint and also they, they fill all the, all the inputs uh, data and send it to to this to our backend but they send it through the simple request for example I'll show you how I can do it without form so here I have the tool called insomnia and with help of this form I can easily submit the same request to the same endpoint with the same uh, request method and and uh, and fill any any type of uh, field. So let's give it a try. So we have the dummy data here, and I click send, and I've got the response. So I don't need to fill the form manually. Uh, I can input any 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 type of uh, data here and send it without even using any website interface. And let's go back now, let's go back to the webhook tool and check the actual data what was submitted. So as you can see, the, the post data structure is the same as the, as the previous one from the form, except it was filled from different source. It was sent from Insomnia. So this is how bots are sending automatically thousands or even millions of different requests to different websites so that how that is how you are spammed every day from from your form and now let's take a look how we can prevent of getting this type of form submissions so one of the ways is to add the hide field that won't be visible to our customers so we don't need the label here we, we now see that we have extra field and we'll change the name so we'll use something um, let's call it job role for example so we've added an extra input input field to our form that is actually is not needed for us and uh, what we're going to do we are going to hide it now from the user perspective we have same form with same fields except that there is one hidden field that uh, that regular user can even see so Let's try to submit this form. Again, we see that the form was submitted, except one difference. We see that the job role that was from our hidden field also was submitted and it is empty. So this means that there is no actual value in this form. This is how we are going to catch the spam bots because if they read the form content 
from the HTML and they take all the inputs and trying to fill them. So there is a high chance that they will also take this form and will take this name and will try to fill it. I'm submitting the form. And now let's see what we've got here. So again, the form was submitted successfully, except one different that the job role was also submitted with extra value. So, and this is how we can catch those robots, those spam bots using this hack. We can validate the extra field and uh, if this extra field is not empty then we simply do nothing and in, and otherwise we send a request and send an email with the valid data so what's important to mention when using this kind of uh, input field uh, don't call this with the name honeypot because this is the technique called honeypot so some robots do understand this name and they will skip this input if the name will be honeypot. So try to create some realistic value. Another thing, uh, don't use regular names like address, address, city, street, or some, some, some other data that are used in other forms because sometimes people are using out of field tools uh, with their saved data and in these cases this input also will be filled and submitted so the real people will be treated as the spam bots also so try to be creative you can create any random uh, string here doesn't matter just simply hide it from the real people and that's it so this is the one the first method actually it won't solve the, the problem 100% because some bots are clever enough to understand that this input is hidden so they won't submit it also there is another hack that can be applied but it requires more more work than simply adding and hiding input but it works uh, really well so if we know that the bots are reading the information from our form uh, so why don't we rename this uh, to simple diff for example so now the website visitors they will see the same form except there is no form tag in in the HTML but actually this form itself stop working it does not submit anything and uh, what we need to do now we need to add some javascript i'll copy paste the values so first we'll add the request url so this will be our endpoint where we'll send the data then we'll create a function we'll call it send data and we will we will add it here so we'll change this we'll add the onclick method that will submit the data and actually we can remove this type submit now every time every time i hit this submit button this function is called but at the moment there is nothing happening so to send a request we need the form body so form body will contain all the input fields inside so we have name um, we have email and we have message and also we want to um, yeah we need to join it and also we need to add our job role also so let's add an idea yeah so one more thing um, let's use 
the function. And this encode URI component will um, encode uh, some characters. And now when we have this form, we need to um, create the request. So Yeah, so, so to submit the request, we will use HTX, XML, HTTP request. We will use the post method, same as inside the form. We'll use the request URL from, from this constant. We'll replace the content type to um, form URL encoded. And here we have a function that will check for the status and Actually, we don't have any thank you page, but here can be any logic you want. You can even create a dynamic form that will display the message, success message inside this uh, form without even reloading the page. Okay, now when we've done this, let's try it out. So let's try to fill our form. So. Yeah, as you can see, it automatically redirects us to a thank you page that in our case it is empty page. And now when we are looking to our form, we see that it was submitted successfully. So we have the name, the email and the message. And also we have this job role that also is empty. And this is how we can prevent spam bots from submitting our form. So by the way, this can be removed. We don't need that. Benefits of using JavaScript, uh, submitting the form and uh, with JavaScript is that spam bots doesn't understand that there is a actual form and they don't even, uh, they will not even try to submit that kind of uh, forms and this will also reduce the load on your backend part because you won't need to validate this high end field. So with this JavaScript implementation, you don't need this high end input also because uh, bots don't even submit the form. And I have tested this in multiple websites and yeah, it works really well and we don't need to add any capture or think about this logic on how we can catch those bot submissions. So that's it for this video. If you like it, click the like button. If you have any questions, please write down your questions below. I'll be happy to answer those. And yeah, see you in the next videos. Thank you. Bye.